Oh my god, look at this, these special effects! Oh, I'm pulling myself over with a grappling hook! I am such a good editor! How's it going guys? You guys ready to celebrate? You guys ready to pop open the champagne of life and allow your soul to be whisked away on a chariot of dreams and butterflies? Cause I sure am, because this channel has finally hit 100,000 subscribers! Which is insane to think about, because literally at this time last year, I had about 8,000. And honestly guys, I can't thank you enough for your support over the last year. It's been incredible. But Chris, that means you need to make a celebration video and you still haven't planned anything. What on earth could you possibly do? Well, that's a very good question, talking dog character that I'll never utilize again. You see, now that I finally have 100,000 subscribers, I can finally tell my parents that I'm successful at something. So I figured what better way to celebrate 100K than to come out to my parents. I I'm coming out of the closet as a marginally successful YouTuber. I sure hope they don't disown me. Hey Dad, I, I, I got great news. For crying out loud, man, why don't you get a real job? So, so I've reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. You know what, man? Even when you do good, you still disappoint me. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's a huge deal. And because of my newfound success, I've decided to move to California. I just want to say I couldn't have done it without all the support you've given me. You're not as funny as I does. I know. <laughs> ah, finally. Off to California to become a full-time millennial. Things could not be better than they are right now. Oi, you got a fucking message, Con. Hello? Hey, Chris. I heard the good news. The big 100K. Oh, yes, yes. It's a mildly fortunate thing. Not that I really care, but I heard you're moving to California. Is that right? Is that accurate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's accurate. Why, why, do you, why, why is it that you inquire? Well, I'm just kind of surprised you'd want to move to the West Coast. I mean, you're always bitching about all this social justice shit, and California in particular seems like ground zero for all the social justice stuff you hate so much. You're gonna be surrounded by vegans, progressives, feminists, not to mention hipsters. Buzzfeed's over there, I'm pretty sure MTV Decoded is filmed over there. They call the Tumor has an LA branch, they've gone all progressive. Don't even get me started on San Francisco. It's just a giant shit show. You'll just be jumping right into the lion's den. You're gonna be standing right in the middle of the kill box. Okay, maybe I didn't maybe I didn't think this through all the way. Is that a is that a fucking bee? I am moving to one of the most toxic places in the United States. The epicenter of trigger warnings and safe spaces. So it looks like I'm gonna have to build my tolerance for poison. And there's only one way I know how to do that. And that, dear friends, is how Chris got 100,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, he'd already consumed a lethal amount of bleach, so you can probably figure out how that ended up. Blah, 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 blah. Hello there, my name is Butthurt McWiamacunt, and Chris has asked me to take the reins of the channel while he's in the hospital getting his stomach pumped. First, I'd like to address the video we just saw, and the fact that Chris Reagan, a white male who spends most of his time making fun of feminists and progressives on the internet, has more subscribers than MTV News, a network that talks about the true issues facing American society. This is nothing short of an injustice. While Chris is here defending silly things like free speech and equality under the law, other more important people are fighting for the condemnation of white people, professional victim mentality, and safe spaces on college campuses to protect our young, fragile future generations from having to deal with opinions that aren't 100% identical to theirs. You know, progress. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Butthurt McGuire McCunt, how can I help support bastions of intelligence like Movie Bob and MTV Decoded and stand on the right side of history? The answer is quite simple. Step 1. Allow your significant other to have relationships with outsiders while ignoring you entirely. This goes especially for the men. Remember, there's nothing more feminist than a one-sided relationship. Step 2. Invent a convoluted and totally real sexual identity to solidify your oppression ranking. If you're a straight white male, your opinion is basically useless. But if you're a vagisexual genderqueer who goes by they, them, their pronouns, you are free to join the conversation. Because the only way to truly unify us in the fight for gender equality is to create as many divisive gender labels as possible so we can shun the outsiders. And step three, the most important step, avoid YouTubers with channels that speak out against progressive values. These channels and many like them support free speech and gender equality but they don't identify as feminists, which essentially means they should be executed on site and driven away from their homes and loved ones. And one more thing, I've created a safe space just for people like you and me. I call it the Coalition for Unanimous Concurrence and Knowledge. You can find out more at the Cuck for the Future Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, disagreement is heresy. Hey! What the hell are you doing in my car? Did you get that joke? It was a, it was a callback to that last video I did when I had 8,000 subscribers. But honestly, all jokes aside, I, I genuinely can't believe this actually happened. Obviously, when I had 8,000 subscribers last year, I had, I, I had no intention of ever making 100K. I genuinely thought it would be impossible to achieve, and yet. Here we are. It's pretty fun. It's it's pretty weird. And I want to thank you guys as as genuinely as I possibly can without any persona, without any oh, hi, how's it going? Without any of that. Because honestly, you, you guys have given me something that I, I literally only have ever dreamed of. And that's the ability to do what I love to do as a job. Like I can't believe that this is actually happening. It's 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 honestly it's honestly pretty insane. And I honestly can't thank my friends enough. And I'm talking about my real life friends who helped me shoot this stuff on location and all the, my internet friends who helped me out. Sargon of Akkad, Vernaculus, Harmful Opinions, uh, More Console, Your Movie Sucks, Glam and Gore. All these people, bearing, a, a bunch of people submitted dialogue to be included in the bleach drinking sequence that I actually couldn't use because the song that would have accompanied their cameos uh, was uh, copyright struck. However, I don't want to deprive you of that majesty, so I've uploaded an alternate take of the bleach drinking sequence if if you want to check it out. That has all sorts of people in it. That has Monday and Matt in it. Uh, that has Halo Cannon in it. David Rossi's in it, the artist who did all the work for Ain't No Rest for the Trigger. He, he has a voice in that. And I'm really bummed that that couldn't be in this video, but it's copyright struck and what are you going to do? But again, guys, thanks for all your love and support. Uh, I'm going to California. I'll see you there.